Voice Womb Witchcraft. It's a nine month ritual journey into your voice, into your womb, into the magic of the earth, into ritual. And it's really been a love child of mine for some years now. I've been doing different workshops with like all the different things, right? And, and creating courses and like, um, and, and it's really for me like taking all the, all the juiciness and bringing it into one place. <clears throat> and I think it's so potent when we want to go into working with our voice, our expression into the world. Um, I think it, it's so deeply connected. Well, I don't think I know it's so deeply connected to our feminine center, um, to our creativity, to our, to our space of, of sensuality, but also to, to the void, to emotions, to the darker sides, right? To, to everything. Like those two things are just so deeply connected. And again, they're so deeply connected to the earth and to our relationship to the earth. And so creating a space to open that up, to explore that together in a group where we actually support each other and where we witness each other can be really potent. And so this is a journey where we're going to be diving in, in ritual together. And we're going to support you in how to create rituals for yourself, how to work with shamanic tools, how to work with water alchemy, how to work with the voice, how to work with your womb, and how to work with witchcraft. And so what is witchcraft? Well, you can say many different things. For me, it is really to tapping into the knowing that we ourselves are the creator or the creatrix of our experience here on earth, that we are also divine being, that everything has soul, everything is part of source. And when we tap into that knowing, when we step into that flow, that central space of abundance and flow, like stepping into the earth that is so abundant, that is a power. And like when we connect to that power, everything is possible. And I'm not talking like, oh, now I want this house for 10 million dollars and I don't want to do anything about it. No, <laughs> it's like we have to do the work. We have to do the practices. We have to like keep on walking on our path, but we can decide how that goes and we can decide if it should be hard or if it should be pleasurable. And for me, working with magic is also so much like working with the power of nature, working with the power of us and having that together in a nourishing way in a healthy way, in a beautiful way. And so it's also for me a space where we kind of step into service in that way of like, I am connected and I am weaving with people around me, with energy around me, with this earth, and it's all connected and it's bigger than me. And so how do I weave into this in the best possible way and also allowing that weaving to serve me as well while I am serving the, the weaving, right? And so this is also something we do in ritual. And so working with these three things, working with the voice, expression, whether that is anger, whether that is beautiful singing, angelic, or if it's like sassy, or if it's mean or whatever it is, like there's such a power in claiming, claiming our expression and daring to express, working with our womb space working with our moon temple, working with blood rituals, like really connecting to our feminine center and our feminine landscape and like exploring it. Like, what is it getting to know ourselves? All of this is really like getting to know ourselves better and thus raising our awareness so that we can nav navigate better in life, right? Because it's all about integrating this into our daily lives. So we're going to be retreating out in the forest together. And then we're going to have some online sessions where it's like, okay, so how do I bring this back home? Like, when am I actually self-sabotaging myself and not bringing it in? And what parts of me is it that are not bringing it in or bringing it 20% in? Like all of this is part of it. And the more we commit to it, the more we get out of it. So this is really a container for potent medicine. And you get to decide yourself. Are you committed to it? How much do you want to get out of it? Like how much of yourself do you bring into it? And what I'm, what I'm asking whoever feels the call for this, what I'm asking them for is being committed and being open to exploring it. So being open for the things to like actually try it out, to actually test it. You don't have to believe all of it, like know it from, from your experience. Then you figure out what works and what doesn't. That's your thing, right? But commit to getting the most out of the container and to do the things, <laughs> to work with the practices 
And then this is such a magical, potent space where we together go on a journey, both into the darkness, both into the shadows and into the light and into the magic and all of it between, in and out and around. So I'm really happy and excited for this program and to see what amazing people are going to come into this container. Yeah. And now let's see if I can figure this technology stuff out. 